Another topic in the news for our weekly update, sucralose, Splenda, that stuff's bad. We've known for a long time that artificial sweeteners are not good for us. I don't know if you remember this, but they used to have these packages of sweeten low, and it always said, hey, it uh, causes uh, liver cancer in rats. So we know kind of that they're not good, right? We had these rodent models, but the idea was always, and what we've been told by the industry is, well, you know, that's if you eat a whole lot of it. If you have a little bit amount of what's in your beverage or your candy, you're fine. That's nothing, you know. And just go ahead and eat it because, you know, it will help you lose weight. You're not eating sugar. It's good for you. Well, it turned out a lot of it is wrong. One, number one is um, it does not make you lose weight. And the reason for that is these artificial sweeteners disrupt the gut microbiome. And that sounds like kind of a very generic answer always you hear. But these bacteria in your gut, you know, they are in, in certain proportions, concentration of certain bacteria, and they keep each other in check. When we eat these sweeteners, it really disrupts them and it allows the bad bacteria that we don't like to overgrow, right? The problem with that is, is people start getting weight. It is really counterproductive to weight loss. And actually, you've seen this in studies over and over again, that people that consume tons of these artificial sweeteners, they gain weight besides other health implications, right? But that's number one. So it doesn't help you lose weight. I think it's very misguided. They're very artificially produced. These are things that do not occur in nature, right? We know in large amounts, very bad. Now, in the case of sucralose or Splenda, what we found out was that even the amount, and this was, of course, done in cell cultures, I give you that. But again, this was a very good study that said that even the amount that we have in a normal, like a single beverage, let's say you buy one of those um, drinks, one of those, um, I don't know, energy drinks or uh, Prime or whatever else they have these days, right? And there's Splenda in there. Even the amount in there, when we drink it, so there's a breakdown product is called a sucrose 6-acetate. And this is, is, is very toxic. First of all, it's in the beverage already. So some of it's broken down already. And even what's in there may already be higher than what's safe in one beverage. And then when you drink it, you get more of it because whatever the sucralose that comes intact in your body will break down as it goes through your system. So this is an issue. So we're going to have a highly toxic and it's genotoxic. So that means it can break down or disrupt DNA, which we know is something that we think can lead to things like cancer, for example, right? And even one beverage has a level of this breakdown product, apparently, according to the study, that is higher than what the experts even feel is, um, you know, okay without having any health issues. Now, that's pretty concerning because, look, most people don't stick to one beverage a day, first of all. And then it's in things like chewing gum. It's, it's in many, many different things. It's in protein powders, right? So I've made, based on this already, a lot of changes. I used to have a uh, chewing gum that's sweetened, and I looked at the label, with sucralose. And I don't give this to my kids anymore. You know, we threw that out. And I bought a chewing gum now that is sweetened with xylitol, which is a sugar alcohol. It's not the greatest one, but at least it's more natural, and it doesn't have these uh, dangerous breakdown products, right? But we should be aware. I mean, I would really, based on this, avoid the best I can anything that has sucralose in it, right? And if you do need some sweetener, I would suggest to stick with natural sweeteners, which are stevia, and then you have allulose and monk fruit. And monk fruit would be my favorite. It's very expensive. They usually add in their erythritol, and that is okay. I did a talk on erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol as well. It, it's naturally occurring. Some studies thought it was linked to heart disease. That might not quite be true. It might be correlating with it, but whether it's protective or dangerous, I, I don't think this is very clear. Um, when you look at the, and I talked about Japan in that uh, context, Japan, since the introduction of erythritol, did not have an increase in heart, an, an increase in heart disease. And so your whole population, where suddenly a new natural uh, sweetener like erythritol becomes available, and you observe over the next years if there were more cases of heart disease and they were not. So I think it's uh, fair to say that this is absolutely okay to use in small amounts. Even though natural things like stevia and monk fruit, of course, or these uh, sugar alcohols, in natural things, they are not in huge amounts. So what the mistake we always make is we take something that we think is, is fine in small amounts and we overdo it. And then, you know, if amount makes the poison, you know, a very famous saying. This is, of course, something that, that could happen then, you know. So be, be careful with it. But in small amounts, I think it's fine. So I have some chocolate that's sweetened with monk fruit, and I have a protein powder that's sweetened with stevia. Small amounts. Stevia is about two to 300 times as sweet as sugar, by the way. So you don't need a whole lot. And I've had protein powders before where they put way too much and just couldn't stand it. Uh, the one I have right now is very good. I think it's only a small amount in there, and this is absolutely fine. But we should be careful. These are fine, probably in small amounts. But artificial sweeteners, I would just say, really, do yourself a favor and then cut these out completely. I mean, it's not doing you any, it's not that doing anything good in your, in your body, obviously. So that's in the news, you know, um, we've known it's bad for a while, but this study showed that even the small amounts we thought were okay, 
with a single beverage or whatever, a single candy, um, it's still dangerous. And I would just say, let's get rid of that. There's something else we don't need. You know, there's enough crap out there that can make us sick. And that's an easy one to weed out.